the final broadcast. What does it say? What does it mean? Let's find out. What it is, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy JJ, and I'm back with another banger video. <laughs> Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And today, we got a spooky one. All right, now, um, I'm not really into horror or, 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 or scary shit, that's not my thing. Um, that doesn't mean I'm afraid, per se, but at the same time, it's like. I don't. I ain't trying to get spooked out. You know what I'm saying? I might punch it. I might punch the wrong person. Uh, uh, I've accidentally done it before. Uh, I don't plan on doing it again. But if it happens, I'm sorry. It's self-defense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, we got film theory today. The final broadcast. Local 58. So I think I've heard of this before. I think it's like when people like send scary ass videos or some shit. But something like that. I don't really know. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Let's not even waste any time. We're not even going to go to another clip. I'm not going to clap out this one. we just going to go straight into it. Let's go. After two years of silence, Local 58 is back. Not just with another video, but a fully realized ARG complete with mysterious phone numbers and broken web pages. Yeah, All you see this shit? The same cryptic message. I don't like Someone that. Someone or something. Who's watching wants me? Us dead. Don't look up. Yeah, you know, I got that thing on. <laughs> Hello Internet, welcome to Film Theory, the channel that made the jump to digital a decade before it was required by shady government organizations. A quick gentle reminder what? here at the top of the episode that Film Theory merch is still available. Man, including no the respect, nice but I ain't, I, ain't trying to, I ain't trying to hear all the... Uh, I ain't trying to hear all analog that. Horrors is credited for the creation of the analog horror genre. For those of you who don't know, analog horror is classified as a type of content that uses technology like VHS tapes, radio, and old television broadcasts to tell cryptic stories. In the case of Local 58, each upload is a clip from a local access channel. You know, the type that you'd see in any small town around the- That's why I just watch Netflix. I'm not watch regular TV no more. The US, city council meetings, old black and white movies that have fallen into the public domain, crudely made home videos, relaxing Muzak playing against a generic schedule of upcoming programming. It sounds like the makings of the most boring thing ever. Like, there's a reason people do not watch local public access television. Oops, my anarchy symbol. But each one of local 58. Its uploads comes with a horrifying twist. A shadowy figure here, dead body there, diagram showing us how we can lie in our yards to die, sinister threats warning us against what? looking at the sky. Now, back in 2019, I watched all on? these videos and came to the conclusion that the overarching story had to do with aliens from the moon, intercepting our television broadcast frequencies in order to get people to kill themselves and each other. At the time, I thought it was a pretty solid conclusion, but now, with these new uploads, I'm having second thoughts. And no, it's not just because the creator came out and debunked the whole alien theory. Theory. It's mostly the reason, but not all of it. When you relook at all the evidence, it seems like the threat that we're dealing with is actually much bigger you know than crazy? just an alien species. I don't believe under aliens even look like that. You know, what I'm I don't even think they look like that. <laughs> Sorry, I think we just made an idea, and we just went along with it. Big eyes, no hair, no eyebrows, littlest mouth like this. <sighs> I understand like they, what you know it what is I mean? and why I think that I think we have to start with the latest upload, Digital Transition. The video starts with Especially an old black and white television show which we can figure out is a 1959 anthology series named One Step Beyond, a series in the vein of The Twilight Zone and The Outer Limits, where each episode tells its own spooky paranormal story. Once the show's over, we're brought back to our usual programming schedule and we're told that Local 58 will be switching from an analog to a digital signal in accordance with FCG guidelines. So, uh, a few things to pick apart here. What? First, what what does it mean to switch from an analog to a digital signal? Well, analog television signals are transmitted through airwaves over a set frequency. This makes them susceptible to- Film theory, you're, you guys are some fucking scientists. I, I, don't even, I don't even know what this shit means. 
interference. And the further away you are from the source, the more likely you're gonna get interference, static, or ghosting. Now, last time we covered Local 58, we concluded that whoever was trying to communicate with us, they were hijacking that exact signal. We even found the frequency that they were broadcasting at. Digital signals don't have that problem. They're packets of compressed data, ones and zeros, which can only be received and read by your appliance in one way. There's no half signals or interference, it's either working or it's not, as the packet of data is one secure thing. If it's interfered with, you just don't get a signal. In terms of Local 58, what this transition is doing is silencing whatever was hijacking the analog signal trying to communicate with us. The second major detail here is the FCG. Now, I looked so into it and cat. there are a couple of FCGs out in the real world. The Foreign Clearance Guide for the Department of Defense, and this one, which provides financial, regulatory, and technological support. But so you're telling me everything, everything is all cap? People just steal it and just like make up some bullshit? Is that what you're trying to Their tell me? Their logos don't seem to match up with the one that we see. Fortunately, the creator Chris Straub graced us with an answer to this on Twitter. FCG is the Federal Communications Governance. Basically, his in-universe version of the real world's FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. We yeah, see in the video that the change that. is mandated to happen tonight, July 13th, 2021. And that's not an arbitrary date. Back in 2011, the FCC actually mandated the change from analog to digital signals for small local broadcasters. When did they have to make the change by? 2015. But that eventually got pushed back to, you guessed it, July 13th, 2021. Good job, Chris. You did your homework. But just as the clock strikes midnight and the transition is happening, we see something resisting. Faint messages in the background that appear to be trying to break through the conversion. It's a bit hard to read, but with some effort, you can make it out. I, the one you watched. I, the always here. They make you thought from pieces. They cut the thoughts I am all night. All I night. am not thoughts who I am. You are not who I am. I am. We are not who you are. I am. It's they dream us themselves together. Knives. And along the top of the screen, the header updates to betrayal. I come in through the window. Don't know what that whole thing means yet, but they're talking about knives, and that makes me real uncomfortable. That's why I break out uh, into a cold sweat whenever good. I watch a cooking channel. Also, not a good thing for a guy with his own cooking show, but whatever. Eventually, a stronger signal breaks yeah, through and end on the final words. Unthinking, they move to cut his throat, only to make a thousand mouths. If he is silenced, we will speak for him. Silence Signs and wonders flood our little sky. No stars well, above us, to only the eyes high. waiting to open. There are other receivers. Notice here that there's actually a switch from first person to third person. Edits are the crazy, actual broadcast text was, I, the one you watched. Whereas this breakthrough signal is, they cut his throat, we speak for him. I don't that know means why, that bro. They're... Listen, that's why I say it. This is why I don't fucking, this is why I don't fucking like, you know what I'm saying, this shit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta always look over my... My shoulder, you know what I'm saying? This shit. Here to be two different entities talking to us here, but who or what are they? Well, we know from the first set of messages that whatever is speaking to us has always been here for us. Was something that we used to watch. Notice the past tense. It I also the one comes you in through the window. That is called with the, the moon that appears in pretty much every upload of Local 58 leads me to believe that it is, in fact, just the moon talking to us. The moon does indeed come through our window every night. It has always been up there for us, and humanity used to watch it and felt marveled by it. But now uh. we have ourselves television. Thought from little pieces, little packets of data put together to show on a screen, which pulls us away from being in awe of nature, from worshipping things like the stars and the moon, hence why the moon feels what? betrayed. And while I fully recognize that the theory of the moon is a talking entity sounds insane, in the lore of the series there actually might be some more truth to it than you'd think. The second most recent upload is sky watching, in which we see close-ups of the moon covered not with rock and dust, but with organic webbing like veins or sinews. It also seems to be breathing as we see gas or souls or something flowing across the surface of it. The moon in this upload can also well, disappear and reappear much huh? closer to Earth, so weird detail there. There's also some older evidence to this too. Chris Straub, as I mentioned before the series creator, has said that whatever this series is, quote, it's alien to our existence, but no, I never get excited about extraterrestrials. And an article on TV Tropes claims that Chris has stated that it's a cosmic horror story, though I gotta say I wasn't able to find the primary source to verify that. So it could very well be that the moon is an eldritch-type monster, or is home to an eldritch type monster. And what are you trying to say, bruh? Hmm? 
similar to other cosmic entities mm. like Cthulhu. There's also one little who Easter egg I learned Cthulhu, about from Reddit nigga? user Omni87, who pointed out that the opening clip of One Step Beyond at the top of the upload has actually been altered. The narrator's name has been changed from John Newland to John Newmond, a German word for new moon. The other voices then oh, seem to be fucked. worshippers of whatever the moon is. <laughs> Notice that it says signs and wonders flood the moon is gonna drop on our ass. people moon. are here on Earth. If the moon is silenced, or in their words, if his throat is cut, then these individuals will take up his message, hence the thousand mouths that are being referenced. And again, we actually see a bit of this in sky watching. When the moon reappears at the end of the video, a man walks into frame, raising his hands, and the words rejoice appear on screen. He's welcoming the moon's arrival. Just makes me wonder, no stars above, only eyes waiting to open, are these worshippers right? Is everything in the night sky alive? I mean, if the moon is, why not everything else? But this is only scratching the, the surface of just... what this video brings to the table. You see, Digital Transition also gives us a phone number this. to call. The phone number is certainly creepy, but not altogether helpful. Calling it plays some distorted audio. It's the moon Which breathing. Morse code. When decrypted, it spells out there are other receivers, just like the end of the video. If oh. you send that number a text I thought, message, I you're gonna get the, the same result. Breathing. A reply <laughs> saying there are other receivers. So I think at this point we get the message. They're gonna try to communicate with us through other receivers, other devices. They've already proven that oh, they can do it with phones, but what else? Well, below that phone number, as well as in the text crawl at the start Shit of the video, is, is a website. It's actually a really clever move. The video is all about switching from analog to digital, and now there's a digital element to the story. So. Bravo, Local 58, well thought out. So we checked it out, and sure enough, there was in fact an ARG lying in wait for us. Though we were actually- They got a, they got a website? Apparently this one's been going on for months, and the latest video was just drawing in all us stragglers that hadn't been following the series or its creator on Twitter. Better late than never, I suppose. The page you're sent to okay. has what appears to be a broken image of a diagram explaining how to use your analog to digital converter. Below that is another massive image, which is just compressed beyond recognition. There are some words that can be made out here and there, like public eye, paid pro programming, civic development agency, emergency alert system, but all of those are just ripped and distorted images from previous <laughs> uploads from the series. There might be other things in here, but so far neither us nor the local 58 subreddit found anything. I will say that the last part of this massive image looks to me like a hand reaching down and infecting the ground in some way, or someone kneeling on the earth. We're fucked but that's just vague speculation. No, to me, the main thing of interest here is actually at the top of the page. Here we can see that the actual website seems to be a knockoff of the Wayback Machine, something called Look Back. This sort of website allows <laughs> you to look at a website Way back, <laughs> look back, <laughs> step back, <laughs> fade away. <laughs> it's history and see what edits have been made uh, to I'm it. Just trying to make fun of if you've never tried I this, I about. highly recommend that you do. It is super fun, and you would be amazed by the changing looks of some of your favorite web pages. For instance, Google. early 2000s YouTube was wild. Here's us at just under 100,000 subscribers in 2013. Here's the Angry Video Game Nerds channel from 2008. YouTube was a very different beast back then. These little spikes that we see on the graph above represent these different save states in time, and by clicking them, we get to end up at different pages. Some take us directly to the YouTube channel for Local 58, others give us a bit more to chew on. The one I really want to focus on is the first one, the one from 1999. Clicking on this gives us a very old like website, which doesn't show us much except another glitched technical manual, this time for a vestigial low band filter. I was initially worried that this image was just going to give us info for a tool that we needed to buy in order to convert some analog code to a digital one, but if you adjust so, the contrast wait, wait. Wait, 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 I'm starting, okay, all I keep hearing is analog and digital and fucking moon, all right? You're telling me that we can talk to the moon through uh, uh, computers? <laughs> is that what you're telling me? Hmm. Because if not, let me know down below in the comments. Are you telling me that I can talk to the moon through a computer? Is that what you're telling me? times, a QR code is actually revealed in the bottom right-hand corner. The QR code doesn't take you anywhere, but instead reveals the unique phrase, parasite is to host as inhabitant is to environment. If you ever paid attention in math class, or have ever taken standardized testing, this sort of problem might seem familiar to you. And that's not the only secret phrase that we can find across these websites. Returning to the look back header, you'll actually see some entry points from 2001. If you click the first one, you get a 500 internal server error, which oh. has itself a fun little Easter egg. 
thing. The server information at the bottom should read Apache, but instead uses the word Apogee, another moon reference. In this case, the point at which the moon is furthest from the planet. But that's not all. In an air G, Winter. a broken web page is rarely actually a broken web page. In this case, we see information about the server error, but you'll notice that there's a forward address that looks to be a folder location. I tried plugging it into the URL bar and got this. This secret page takes you to another document. This time, We're talking fucked. all about the wonders of home recording. It also has itself a creepy final paragraph all about our mortal eyes lifting up to the empty throne of the master. Hmm. Feels good, yeah. man. The throne... It's called, um... It's called, uh... Indicating. Here is a reference yet again to the moon, as we see back in Sky Watching that the moon is labeled his throne. So again, more evidence suggesting that the God? moon itself isn't alive, but maybe some massive monster living inside of it. Gotta admit that seems like splitting hairs against the whole extraterrestrial thing, but whatever. Anyway, behold, right below that paragraph, well, there's another QR code. There's, this there, if there's a monster in the moon, why hasn't he come out yet? Like, is he tired? <laughs> it's been hundreds of millions of years, just fucking idiot. Time <laughs> hidden in the TV screen, which gives us yet another phrase, a predator cannot differentiate prey from a compass. <laughs> The final piece of the ARG that I want to mention is the floor. Hey, this nigga, this nigga, took, this nigga been sleeping for hundreds of millions of years. Wake up, nigga. Four page. I actually wasn't able to find this one myself, but lots of people over on the local oh, 58 shit. subreddit have been data mining this page, trying to find any clues. Funny. And the earliest screenshot of this I could find came oh, from wait. Lord Gaben 5841. No, Apologies if Lord Gaben isn't actually the first, but as far as I could tell, that was just the first instance that's this funny. being found. Anyway, this page at first seems like a glitchy 404 page. Nothing too special. But if you inspect the source code of the website, which ah, feels so good to do because it's been a long time since we've had to check the source code of a web page, the data text reads, what you need is no longer here. I guess we gotta keep looking. Underneath, there's more text. This one looks like a jumbled mess, but if you highlight it, copy, paste, and then spread out the spacing of the letters, or again, just check the source code for the site, you'll see what it says. Beyond a certain point, watching is no different from doing. So at this point, we have ourselves three Fuck. random phrases. A parasite is to a host as an inhabitant is to the environment, a predator cannot differentiate prey from accomplice, and what? beyond a certain point, watching is no different from doing. So what do they all mean, and how does it connect to a living and homicidal moon a monster? Parasite well, let's is to a host the first as one. an what inhabitant to an environment. Are parasites? We inhabit this bitch. environment, this planet, <laughs> taking advantage of the host for our own <clears throat> means, regardless of the consequences. We destroy rainforests for profit, we throw millions of pounds of trash into the oceans, we pollute the skies uh... every single day. Sounds like an apt analogy to me. And for all of you who are sitting they're thinking, well, I don't do that. I recycle. I walk to work. Too bad because of the second phrase, beyond a certain point, watching is no different from doing. This planet oh, is too far gone shit. in the eyes of whoever is leaving us these messages. As such, the fact that you're just sitting by and watching it happen makes you just as responsible as everyone else. So, is that it? It's just a just an environmental message? Yeah, I think. The pieces largely fit, but I do what think the there's more to it from a lore perspective. Let's stop just looking at Earth from what we understand and... So you, you, you couldn't have just outright said that. You had to go through the encryption to make us think there's fucking aliens for you to say, y'all fucked up. Huh? Is that all you said? Basically, what you just said was, um, take care of where you live. You fucking idiot. That's all you basically said. Instead, start looking at the idea of killing yeah. the planet more literally. If the moon and stars in Local 58 are actual entities or home to greater cosmic beings, then who's to say that the Earth isn't also one of those things? A cosmic entity that we, the parasites, are actually killing. And that is where our third phrase comes in. A predator cannot differentiate cannot... prey from accomplice. I spoke earlier about the moon worshippers, but who are they? I believe that they're an organization Atheist. called the Thought Research Initiative. In canon, they were the ones that made the 1983 video Real Sleep. Now, why they're them? Well, their logo appears to be on the latest web webpage from 2021. Though it is super distorted, you can definitely make out the slanted T and even parts of the R and the I. Also, according to the Game Detectives Wiki, which has been I, tracking I changes wouldn't be able to the to see that. website, when <laughs> the 404 page was originally discovered on September 13th, there was a nearly invisible element at the bottom of the page that read Copyright 2021 Thought Research Initiative LLC. So oh. it would seem like they're trying to help the moon accomplish its goal of wiping out the parasites, stopping this environmental destruction by eliminating us. But 
there's one problem with that. They too are gonna get caught in the crossfire. A predator cannot differentiate prey from accomplice. Oh! This organization or cult or whatever you wanna call them may be helping. They may believe. I fucking know it. I knew it. Believe that by the 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 site, allowing me to catch up on things that happened long before I was made aware of these websites even existing. And sure, I've tried to piece together a narrative based- Did you just tell the moon to put on some lotion? They said it was a living being. <laughs> Which I'll ask you. Based on the information that we have now, but there are still a few things that may change that conclusion. For example, there's that big colorful image on the main webpage, which some members of the Reddit community have theorized might reveal more information if you use an analog television system as a monitor. Wow. The depressed TRI logo feels like there's gotta be something there. I also wonder if we're fully finished with the phone audio. Sure, it's wow. kinda solved because we did the Morse code, but there's also some muffled audio near the end that nobody seems to have gotten anything out of. Oh, User wow. Shades10318 actually called out that it sounds similar to an old radio scrambled signal and reminds oh. us that the article about the low band filter might be a clue to solving it. This is known as voice oh, inversion scrambling, but without an old school radio with a sideband frequency setting, it doesn't seem totally possible to solve it digitally. At least yeah. not that I could find with the limited amount of time that I had to research this one. Oh, In short, if it. any of this is interesting to you, I highly encourage you to go over to the local 58 subreddit as well as the Game ah. Cure subreddit to join in and let me know if you find anything new. This franchise ah, is good. far from over. Over. And I'm looking forward to covering it again when we've solved more puzzles. In the meantime, don't look up, look up, look up, look. look. Man, hey man, that's it for video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, what I was told was the moon is ashy as fuck. <laughs> uh, and um, you know what I'm saying? And we gotta start taking care of the environment. That's what I learned. We gotta start taking care of the environment, and that's very true in itself. You know what I'm saying? We're killing ourselves. That's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? We're just one big fat fucking, uh, fucking bag of chips. What? But yay, man. That's it for the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Peace, oh.